What's up guys? Your boy's back, Edward with Commas and Culture. Today, we're gonna do a little bit different of a video. We're gonna focus on the culture, you know? The whole point of this video is to talk about things related to finance, specifically trading, and how they influence your life, your lifestyle, your choices, the options you have, and also what you believe in. What is your culture? Um, there are different types of cultures in the world, obviously, different interests, different beliefs, moral standards. Today, we're going to talk about one of my personal cultures I'm interested in, that is car culture. A lot of you guys know I'm, I'm in a car, so <clears throat> we're going to go over my personal baby, my Mercedes SL500. Today, we're going to get, get some work done on it. Uh, we have some suspension issues, and it uses a very complex hydraulic system um, that uses fluid. And fortunately, I like to drive a little rough. I got a fluid leak. Um, in some cases, those suspension, because of the complexity and uh, just the cost of the parts, it can be really expensive and the labor is very time consuming. So we decided to do uh, what's called a coilover conversion, where we use traditional struts um, that are adjustable with springs. So high performance springs, adjustable struts. We're putting that on the car instead of having the hydraulic suspension. So I'm going to give you guys a review. Um, on how the car rides, walk you guys a little bit through the process. I'm not doing an installing, but we're taking it to the shop in a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and check out the new parts I got, the new shiny jewelry I got for the car. As I always say, I'm putting on socks on the whip, so <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, show you guys now. See you. All right, so this is the Silver's Neomax suspension system. Um, yeah, these are brand new. These cost me a little bit under two grand, but we're gonna throw these on that. So that's my baby right here. I haven't driven her in two weeks. So you can see it's a little uneven. I don't know if you could tell, but we got a leak here and it's causing the car to sag. We also got another little trick we're gonna install in the car. It's called the throttle response controller. This is gonna help get rid of some of the throttle lag in the car. Some of these older cars or even newer cars, sometimes you press on the gas and you notice it takes a while for the car to react. So it's gonna help get rid of some of that lag, give it more of a sporty drive. And yeah, I'm gonna review these and uh, let you know what I think, what I recommend it. What's up guys, we're back with another episode of Commas and Culture. And I got a little special treat for you guys today. I got my car back from the shop. We finally put the coilovers on. So I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, review as to how it rides as opposed to the ABC suspension. And I got another quick whip to show you guys. You see it in the background, a little 300 CE. Got this back from the shop as well. Um, it's giving a little problems with the battery. Still working some stuff out, but uh, my two little cruisers because you could tell if you haven't tell already, I love Mercedes. It's one of the cultures I'm into. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, how the whip looks. Um, the ride height is not much lower. I decided to keep it uh, pretty much give or take how it was before until I get my wheel set up right and we're gonna drop it a little lower. But I'm gonna show you guys how it came out, how nice and even the sides are, and then we'll go for a ride. All right, so here it is. My baby is back. As you can see, it's sitting nice and even. You can fit about two fingers in this wheel well here, um, which is what we had about. It's a little bit loose. It was a little bit tighter when I had the, the lowering links and the ABC. The front, I think, is about a little bit lower. It's a little bit tighter of a fit. But yeah, it's sitting real nice. 
Um, I could tell you, I've been on a ride already. I didn't videotape right from the shop because I didn't have my mic. Um, but I rode it from the shop and I could already tell you, like, this thing rides better than ABC suspension. For any of you guys on the fence about whether you should convert your car to AB or coilovers from ABC, I would highly suggest it. Highly, highly suggest it. And then real quick, I want to go over to this little project I got here, which is the 1993 Mercedes 300 CE. This one I picked up about a year ago, but it's been in and out the shop doing work on it. Just got a new top, convertible top fixed. It's 300 CE. Really clean. It's got the black with the wood trim interior real smooth ride I really like this car I love the square body and I love two-seater convertibles so it's right up my alley um, so yeah you know that's what I like to do make profits and drive foreigns <laughs> so we're gonna hop into this in a little bit and uh, show you guys how it rides I also got another trick installed the uh, you see that up there that's a throttle controller so we can get a lot better throttle response on the car just got done installing that myself so yeah we're gonna go on a little ride take you guys with me on my errands and uh, we'll chat soon all right so what's happening guys we're back in the SL 500 2003 R230 chassis SL it's a beautiful day so you know I had to rock with the top off and yeah before I get into this review I just want to give a big shout out to Gold Element Auto Works um, if you guys have a Mercedes especially the SL CL anything with ABC suspension follow that YouTube channel they give a lot of in-depth in -depth analysis and you know why you should get the uh, coilover suspension with these Mercedes excuse the lawn cutting and stuff in the background but he really convinced me because I was one of those guys that you know I wanted to keep the the Benz brand pure and keep my ABC suspension I really like the dynamicness of being able to lower and higher the suspension on the go but honestly I never really used it guys I always kept my SL and ABC Sport to have a firmer ride that's about the only button I used every now and then when I'm in a sketchy parking spot I used to like lift and raise the car and so far it's been a few days since I had the suspension on and I don't miss it so Gold Element Auto Works sh shout out to you you guys want to do this job yourself that's definitely a channel you want to follow too I'm not that guy I could do a little bit of uh, repair work but I sent it out to get repaired um, spent cost still cost me less than doing the ABC fixing the ABC between parts and labor I had to buy the power steering pump which I never knew shout out to ABC he put me on that or um, gold element auto works um, you could buy everything on his site the coilovers parts for your SL and um, yeah, so this is a 2003 SL. I've got a few modifications done, nothing crazy. I got the um, TCU transmission ECU for faster, smoother shifts. Um, I'm gonna plug that in, link in description. At MK Ultra, they make a really dope TCU for these cars with different stages. I got the stage two, honestly, I wish I would've got the stage three because the shifts are definitely better, but I wouldn't mind it being even a little bit faster, a little bit crisper, but it's still a, a decent upgrade. This is a naturally aspirated engine, so there's not a lot of stuff you could do do with this, but um, I did upgrade the, uh, the intake, and there's a few other things I plan on doing, like ECU. Um, I just did the throttle controller, um, which is a great little trick. Unfortunately, I can't show you too much of that and the different settings it offers because the one I got You control it from your phone and I'm filming from my phone. So um, What I can tell you is that it's worth the money. I paid hundred thirty dollars for mine. Some of them are like three hundred dollars and It's 
definitely wakes up the car makes the car more fun to drive so back to the review on what this video is mainly about it is the silvers neomax coilover suspension right now i'm driving you see i just went over a speed bump i'm driving like 40 miles an hour it's pretty steady right i'm not feeling any bouncing going over bumps in actually it handles bumps much better than when it did the abc suspension the ride is not overly stiff i was a little bit afraid of that because i did opt for this swift springs which is an optional upgrade with the suspension um helps with the rebound and helps um give a more um stiffer ride and more flat ride in in corners with the swift suspension or the swift springs so I think it was worth the extra $300. I don't know what it would feel like without it, but I like the color of them and <laughs> it kind of contrasts with the car. You guys seen the color of the car and I wanted the best I could get. So I went and got the Swift Springs. Let me take you guys on a little ride, talk about a little bit about the suspension and what I noticed on the way. Um, highway driving we're not going to go on the highway on camera but i did have a chance to drive on highway definitely more confidence inspiring the, the car feels more solid and you hear it roaring that's that that's that throttle response i'm i'm barely pushing the pedal guys and the car just wants to gallop so if you're interested in the throttle controller i'm jumping all over the place but it's roar Pre roar pedal the brand i have roar pedal i advise i keep it in Sport Plus Stage 7. I feel like that's perfect balance for like daily driving. You want to feather the pedal or coast or you want to get on it a little bit and not burn too much gas from what I've seen so far. But yeah, we're riding right now. The suspension is very smooth, going at about 60 miles an hour. The car is very um, responsive. I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera. Don't do this at home, so <laughs> we're driving a beautiful day, SL off, SL top off, and honestly, like, this is probably one of the best upgrades you can do for your SL because it's worry-free. Two, it makes the driving experience worry-free because two of the major things with these cars is, um, is um, the ABC suspension and the convertible roof, knock on wood. I haven't had any issues with my top. As you can see, I try to use it as much as possible to get the fluid going through it so I don't have any issues. But yeah, man, this car, I love this car. I just broke 60,000 miles on it. As you can see, no lights are on since the swap. I removed the fuse, but I don't know if I can change, the, change it to C. But when you first turn it on, it will say ABC. But um... All you got to do is press the button up and it goes away. Get this thing back to normal. So yeah, it goes right away. So I didn't show you guys up on startup, but the light won't be red. It'll have a little white light that says ABC after you remove the fuse. Just press the little up button and it'll go away. You won't have any issues. So we're at the light right now. Join this SL. Thinking about getting some new mats soon definitely got to upgrade the radio get the bluetooth radio i'm using the bluetooth adapter right now but there's a few different radios i'm looking at upgrade the head unit give it a little bit more modern of a look and let's step in on it a little bit so road work ahead gotta get behind this guy Man, I'm telling you, I mean, it's hard to, because there's not a lot of turns where I'm heading, but the, this suspension, the coilover suspension is amazing. There's 24 different dampening settings. It's real easy to adjust the dampening. Um, Gold Element Auto Works, uh, Brandon over there has suggested that you do the 20 in the front and 15 in the rear. rear. Honestly, I was going to adjust the dampening myself. I just wanted to see what the mechanic would do, but my mechanic did an awesome job. Honestly, the damping is pretty much perfect for daily drivability. I don't really need to do much anything on it. Um, maybe when I change the wheels, I might need to adjust it a little bit. And when I decide to lower the car more. But yeah, I just want to say anybody on the fence having ABC troubles, 
find yourself a good mechanic that won't rape you for labor and buy the coils on gold elements auto works you can even do payments on the coils so if you can't pay for them in full with options and whatnot they're about 18 1900 dollars with the way i option them the only option i got was the swift springs you can get them for cheaper if you just want the regular springs and it's just worry free guys i could i like to drive a little bit more aggressive but in times i like to like slide my car drift my car especially when it's wet out and i don't have to worry about i'm gonna pop it uh, ABC hose. That's not what we're about. We're about driving our cars. This isn't a garage queen, so yeah, man. I'm pulling up to my destination, so I'm about to cut this video off, cut the ride off, um, and yeah. Hopefully, you guys like this video. It's a little insightful, more lax of a video, just to show you a little bit into my lifestyle, some thoughts I have with some of the upgrades I'm doing on my car, I've done on my car. And I'll keep you guys posted. We got a few more to go while we still own this baby. I'm hoping to upgrade and maybe get like a, a Porsche or something in the next year or so. You know, them Forex accounts jumping. So we gotta, we can't stay stagnant. <laughs> All right, man. But I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to stay in tune with more co Forex content, lifestyle content. I'll be your guy. This is Esco with Commas and Culture, and we're out.